chalking like a dog, Trump unloads on Maggot Haberman, former President Donald Trump took to his struggling truth social platform on Thursday to express his outrage over New York Times reporter Maggie Haberman's reporting on his Manhattan fraud trial. Two other writers were also credited with the article, but Trump zeroed in on Haberman. Always keeping it classy, Trump, instead of calling her Maggie, he called her Maggot. Writer Maggot Hagerman of the failing New York Times wrote almost her entire fake story today about the Trump-hating judge's gag order. They love to silence me. Rather than the racist Attorney General star. Witness chalking like a dog on the witness stand, Perry Mason? And admitting that I never asked him to do anything wrong, the one-term president wrote. He also admitted that he lied to Congress under oath. Again, brand new charges, he continued. That means they no longer have a witness, or a case. Time equals 400 ms. greater than. She also failed to report that the Trump-hating judge refuses to respect or accept the appeals court decision reversing him. A first, he added. Maggot should focus her energies on corrupt prosecutors and judges, whose hatred and bias is so great that they are unable to make a fair and reasonable decision. New York is crime-ridden and dying, but I will save it in 2024. It can't come too fast. I'm unsure which part of the New York Times piece sent Trump's blood pressure into orbit, but I can only guess. That's interesting. The Trump whisperer is now the target of his wrath. Donald J. Trump could not hide his anger. Sitting at the front of a crowded New York courtroom this week, he folded his arms tightly across his chest, Haberman reports. He tossed his head and scowled. He stared into the middle distance and scrolled through his phone. His ire was directed at Michael D. Cohen his former personal lawyer and fixer, who had taken the witness stand 15 feet away and had promptly called Mr. Trump a liar, the article reads. Mr. Cohen has told his share of lies as well. But in court, he swore he had done so, at the direction of, in concert with and for the benefit of Mr. Trump. Yeah, that had to be what upset the four times indicted former president. 